NVIDIA, now one of the world's most valuable companies, emerged from an industry often misunderstood. Gaming. This is the Xbox. The public witnessed the first major triumph when in 2001, Microsoft's then CEO Bill Gates decloaked his company's inaugural competitor in the console gaming battlefield. It was a vital stepping stone that aligned NVIDIA hardware with PCs bought by hardcore gamers keen on upgrading their computers' components, something they couldn't do with consoles. But something else happened during those 20 or so years. People started to ask, if these things are transforming code into people and vehicles, could it work the other way around? GPUs excel at something called parallel computing taking a complex problem, dividing it up into small sets of calculations, and solving them in parallel very quickly. A lot of the time, you see that there are runs on these graphics cards because they have a lot of applications even outside of gaming. More recently, companies acquire GPUs en masse for use with artificial intelligence. OpenAI's ChatGPT, for instance, uses NVIDIA hardware. NVIDIA became the leader it is today by advancing technology designed for games, but valuable to disparate industries. It knew far in advance that to succeed, it needed gamers, 